Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you another episode of our World of Final Fantasy Let's Play. Um, when we left off before, we saw a mysterious person uh, coming around. Hold on, let me move something off the screen there. there. Saw a mysterious person uh, that we're going to have to go visit. So let's go see who this person was. Um, so, she's over at North uh -oh. Promenade. Okay. Is there any chests or something around here <laughs> that we could potentially get? I don't think so this early on. Um, I'm hoping you guys are really going to like this series. I actually really like this game. I've watched a lot of it, have not played a whole lot of it. Um, I have been reading a little bit about um, how to like best get oh, through the game. Wow, she's oh. so tiny. Is she a... Uh, what's the word again? Lilikin? Lilikin? Okay, let's see who this is. Chocobo Golina! Oh! Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and how are you? Hmm? Uh, good. More or less. You know, what a nice, quiet place. Oh. Who is this? Uh, so who are the you? Oh, you can call me Choco Latte. <laughs> yes. I seem to okay. have washed up here like a soggy yellow feather in a storm. Huh? I do have this funny knack for winding up in strange places. She's got uh, a Choco chick on her cool. head. All right. Care to shop? I've got the goods. Choco Poco Chain. She's a shop, so Ch Chocolate has a habit of picking up all sorts of strange items. Those items can be yours if you're ready to fork over enough of Grimoire's currency, which is known as Gil. Uh, the Chocolate's market mart selection is always improving, so when you visit Nine Woods Hills, don't miss the opportunity to stop by and see what's in stock. Okay. She got she got some potions, antidotes. What's a pick me up? Remove sleep. We only have like a hundred gil, right? Yeah, we only have a hundred and seven gil. I, I don't want to buy anything because that would be all of our gil for a potion. So, we have one phoenix down, which costs 250. I can sell a potion for 25, but I have to pay a hundred to buy one. I call scam. Whoa, slow down. What kind of operation is this? <laughs> it's called a shop, dear. That's what I'm saying. I find all kinds of stuff as I bounce from point A to point Q. I'm your Choco connection. Oh God, <laughs> this game's gonna get a little bit, <laughs> a little bit odd. So we can return to Grimoire through the main gate. Okay, so we talked to her. We've so got a hey, shop now. Are you ready to head back to Grimoire? Sure. We'll go back to Grimoire. Some Rajas like the Chocobo. I didn't read that. Show that yourself, Seraphy. I know it was you. You had it coming. You know, when you awakened, you should have woke me up too. I don't remember raising you to be such a selfish selfer poo. Well, I don't remember you the raising me at all. Who's this? Oh hi. I'm just your adorable local wind pixie, aka Seraphy. My spirit creature. My hobbies. <laughs> Include gossip mongering and uh, let's see. Oh, I'm good at hoarding things. Yep. Hoarding? Yep, my spirit creature. <laughs> hoarding. Why do you think I'm here? You must have tons of prismariums, more than you can handle, right? Well, no. We're still working on it. Uh huh. You'll have scads of them before long. You're gonna need a place to unload. Yeah, they are kind of bulky. Well, who's got you covered? This pixie right here. Anacro made me a special prism case that lets me keep all your prismariums safe. Just plonk the ones you don't need in and yoink the ones you do need out. All plonking plonk and yoinking yoink. must be performed within the confines of Nine Wood Hills or from an alternate location with a suitably strong connection. Additional terms, conditions, <laughs> and restrictions may apply. Okay. I'm not sure I caught every single word, but I guess... I agree. Oh yeah, this prismarian belongs to one of my tribe. Treat it with the same boundless love and affection you feel for me. Oh, we got a new okay. one? Okay. Seraphie's kind of a special the case. 
Uh, and a crow has entrusted Seraphie with a prism case that automatically stores all the prismariums you collect. You can use it to select with mir which mirages you take with you on your adventures. The prism case is also where you are permitted to transfigure mirages. Talk about a handy contraption. Seraphie keeps the prism case in the Ninewood Hills. You can access it by talking to her directly, but the case is also at your disposal in Grimoire. Just select it from the menu at Gates or Save Crystals. Okay. Obtained a Seraphone. The Seraphone is a special device you can use to call Seraphie and access your prism case remotely. Seraphie's not too keen on leaving Ninewood Hills, but thanks to the Seraphone, you can still swap in mirages without, or while out on the go. Just keep in mind that each Seraphone can only be used once because Seraphie doesn't feel like getting off her butt, <laughs> or because your data security is important, of course. <laughs> Tained a Sylph Prismarium. Oh. Okay. A Tiny Wind Pixie. Oh, we got a whole new Mirage. Uh, and then we'll just keep her as Sylph. Looks yeah, good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What does she have? What's her abilities? Can I look at them? Uh, abilities of the... She's another small one. So you have to choose between Chocobo, Tama, and the Sylph. Stack, defend, escape. For... Whoops. Okay. So she doesn't have any... Can we... Does she have any to spend? Some SP? She turns into something huge. Okay, let's look at her. She's got Whisper Wind. Inflict magical wind damage and restore an equal amount of HP. Uh, how much does it cost? Two. Let's get... I mean, we gotta get it, so... Learned Whisper Wind. Okay. Um, can I... Okay, go back. Oh, I can go through everyone here. Oh, he's got zero to spend, so... What about Tama? Tama has four. So he's got Foxfire, Libra, Strength, or HP. Slightly raises HP. This is three, and this is three. Um... I want to do Strength. Do strength on Tama. Slightly raises critical chance. Restore. Oh, that's the cure. We should have gone down here, but we could go here and get cure. Oh, and stroll. Critical HP. Obtain a mysterious item. Okay. And Sylph and Chocobo. Okay, so those are all the mirages we have right now. We're good to go. Good to move on now. Uh, Silver Park. <clears throat> anyway, right, see what Anna Crow I has think to you say. should be able to manage on your own from here. You mean you're the leading us? Yes, you handle things now. Oh, okay, I the will. It's cool. <laughs> I'll lock this place down tighter than a Malboro's <laughs> bottle of mouthwash. That's a Seraphy guarantee. Final Fantasy humor. Oh, well, somewhere what else, of course. Mean? Yeah, that's huh? not exactly very helpful. Look, we really need to ask you so many things. No, no, you'll figure it out. I can't do everything for you now. <laughs> everything? But you've barely done anything. Besides, every world has its own rules, like water dousing fire and light banishing darkness. Uh, I think that's just called science. Well. <laughs> I designed mine to be so completely unbreakable that even I can't undo them. Undo what? The rules. <sighs> You're bad at explaining. You're saying you can't help because that violates the rules of the world or something? Exactly. But why is that? I mean, come on. Just who do you think you are? Me? Oh, well... I'm God. <laughs> uh... What? <laughs> okay. The <laughs> Their faces. She's gone. No, she's gone, she said. Uh, I <laughs> guess we can't necessarily rule it out, but for somebody calling the cosmic shots, she seems kind of sub benevolent. Well, that's Anna Crow for you, so get used to it. So, she really is God? Beats me. Anna Crow is Anna Crow, wouldn't you say? Pity the much. Uh, 
Thanks for clearing it up. <laughs> okay. So what do we do now? Uh, speed note conversation. Are you the impatient type? Here's a fun little trick. During cutscenes, you can hold R1 to quickly speed through the conversation. When well, not good enough for you, then you can always press options and skip to scene. I don't want to skip scenes. Of course, if you start skipping scenes with abandon, it won't be long before you have zero idea what's going on in the story. But then again, if this is your second trip through Grimoire, you may want to get right down to business. You've always got the adventure log to fall back on. Okay. Save your progress. Yes, please. Always save. <laughs> uh, yep. Da, 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 da. Okay, thank you. Uploading. Yep. Okay. We can return to Grimoire through the main gate in Silver Park. Alright, let's examine. Um, we don't need to access the prism case. That's where we can hide all our mirages. Let's travel. Two. Oh, I'm gonna guess there's only one. We don't have any towns. No regions. We've only known this dungeon. Wellspring Woods. Alright. We're back here. Uh, changing leaders. Press R1 to toggle which character you control. Yes, yes, yes. Character in the lead has no effect on combat, so feel free to use this feature just for fun. Okay. Well, that certainly cost us a chunk of time. And whose fault is that? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Oh, God. Scared me. Made me jump. Oh, look at him. Speed up past out of the grind. Uh, hold the R1 during battle to fast forward and make it time fly. Um, you can also enable auto battle mode with a single press of. A few words of warning though, when playing in active mode, time continues to flow while you choose your commands, which means enemies will keep attacking you when fast forward. So in auto battle mode, party members merely repeat the last commands you gave them. Okay, whatever. Uh, when using the basic menu, enemies are targeted automatically for you. However, you can always override this. Okay, okay, okay. Let me fight this thing. Um... So we're on. I want her to. I actually want her to defend because I want Tama to use a Libra on the move. So I want to capture it. Can we capture it? Requires a Moo prism. Use physical attacks to create a prism unity. Prism Tunity. Okay, he's gonna hit us. That's fine. I'm okay with it. Alright, let's have her attack. Okay, Prism Tunity. Alright, speed it up. And let's imprism this move. We get it? Oh, he jumped out, little bugger. Okay. Try again in Prism. You can do it. Do we get it? Yes, we got the Moo. <laughs> I wonder, do we used to get experience for for imprisoning? No trouble at all. She got a cool dagger. A Choco chick got some. He's gonna get level two. Oh no. The Sylph got a little bit, I think. Proceed. No Gale. That's okay. We got a moo. Uh, it comes with potion, re remember herbs. Cute little forest animal, or at least that's what it wants you to think. Then pow, a tail punch to the jaw. Raj has nothing to do with the legendary continent. May or may not squeak moo when upset. <laughs> uh, just use the default, it looks good. So we got a moo. Fine, fine by me. Uh, experience. The experience you earn in battle is split between all participating party members. Mirages that are accompanying you but didn't fight in the battle still receive a flat 8%. Okay, that's good to know. However, mirages in your prison case get nothing, so make sure you bring Mirage Salon with you if you're trying to make them stronger. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I want names. Can Choco Chick find something else in here? They can. Let's examine. Tained in ether. Cool. All right, now we're, we're not gonna go into that big old, um... Oh, God. <laughs> it gets me every time. What do Let's we got here? Make this good. Oh, no it's more all. choco chicks. We're just gonna kill these ones while we don't, we don't need... Don't need another one. Quee. Okay, got one down. I'm gonna speed up, guys. I hope you don't mind me speeding it up a little bit as we're playing. Miss. 
Come on, please. All right. She's good. She got a critical on that. Yeah. That wasn't so bad. Do, do, do. All right. Choco Chick got level two. Our Moo and our Sylph are getting stuff from that. So that's good. And we got 18 gil. It's 18% of a potion. <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. We've already explored the other ones. We're not going to go into that thing again. Uh oh. <laughs> are they gonna make note about Mom, Behemoth? Don't touch it this time. <laughs> I know, I know. But level twenty six. See all this stuff before. Now that you fought that thing the once, you can see all its information. Information. Okay. And if you the happen to know some Libra magic, you can peep at its data before you even jump in. Very good thing to keep in the mind. Good Love thing it. to keep in mind. Yep. Very good thing to keep in the mind, Lom. <laughs> uh, why are you repeating it? And just for my sake? <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> Alright, let's move on past that one. Um, more battles. Typical Final Fantasy, so that's this. Oh, another move. Let's kill it. Attack. Attack. Gone. We did it! Alright! We did it, Lan. No one leveled up. We got nine gil. All right, keep going. Okay, bridge overlook. So we're in a new area. We haven't explored this before. Uh oh. Chapter 2 Foretold by Prophecy 
All right, guys, so I probably cut out the original song uh, for that cutscene. Hey, is that a town over there at the end of the bridge? Yeah, and I don't know why, but something about it takes me back. So just so you guys are aware, uh, there was a very, very anime song playing <laughs> during that cutscene that if you buy the game, uh, you can hear for yourself. Uh-oh, is that a train? Is a train. There we are. So, uh, <laughs> you think we're supposed to get on? Sure. Absolutely. I'll be aboard. Oh God. Oh, dude. <laughs> okay, we're getting on the train. Cactuar Express, giant oh, car. Hey, sis, let's park it here. Sure. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh, a white mage and a black mage. Uh -huh. <laughs> that back pedal. <laughs> so tiny. Whoa, look, my needles. I don't know how long it's been since we've had new passengers. Uh oh. Huh? Huh. Huh. Right. <laughs> Tickets, <please. laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hello, Cactuar. <laughs> Cactuar conductor. I love it. A mirage? <laughs> what? It talks? Oh, I indeedly needly am a mirage. But I'm also the train conductor, so... <laughs> Tickets, please! I don't have tickets. Well, Alright. If Tama can talk, then why not? But the train tickets that we need... Are right the here. What the hell? <laughs> wow! Semi-lifetime passes, eh? Haven't feasted my eyes on one of these in a swell spell. Right then. Pleasant journey. Thank you. Semi-lifetime? Where did those tickets come from? In the Crow made sure, I was provided with everything we could ever the need. Yep, yep. Uh, okay then. Okay. So why a semi-lifetime pass? <laughs> and not a lifetime one? Obtained the semi-lifetime passes. Okay. I, he had a good question, though. Do we ever find out the answer? Why can't we get full lifetime passes? <laughs> the cacti one! Oh, the music. Oh, God. Cactuar. And we're Lilikin, so I think we'll stay Lilikins walking around the city. People got cats on their heads. Oh, that person's got a fish. Cornelia. Okay. We're in Cornelia. They've got an apple on wow. their head. This place rules. Yeah, it's like something right out of a fantasy. Okay. Hey, Mew. Tom, why don't you hitch a ride? Roger the Dodger! Pardon. Huh? If I may Oh, ask, hello. Would you be kind enough to tell me what country you hail from? Oh, us? We're, uh... Ah! <gasps> Mirage is from the Bahamushan army! Bahamushan. Rot row. That's creepy. Bahamu? What? A Bahamu? Bahamut. Well, the Bahamutian Federation has a whole army of mirages in their employ. Huh? Someone's made a whole army out of them? Sounds just fine by me. Line them up nice and neat for us, so we can round them up. Huh? Hey, Go get him, Lon. Uh, Lon! <laughs> Alright, we'll take on these guys. They got cha- what are those chains that were there? Alright, you Bahamus! What's your beat, huh? <laughs> Yeah, what's your beef? Yeah, Lon, don't you know what's at stake? Oh no. <laughs> the puns. Alright. Attack them. Alright, I'm gonna speed it up as well. Um, okay, attack. What? <laughs> Another attack. 
he's down. Then this guy is gonna hit Lan. How dare you? We can't imprison them either. It's okay, I don't want that little guy. Oh! Imprison me failed? I didn't try to imprison. Did I press a button? What happened? Was it automatic? Whoa! What the? Oh, what okay. Yeah. Why Story tells. Story tells. That mirage. Didn't you see the light that's surrounding it? That means it's the beholden to another keeper. The what? B O? The smell? Uh, no. What I mean is, the mirage already has another the master. So okay. until you give their boss the old heave the hoe, you won't be able to claim it for yourself. Some mirages already belong to another master. If you look carefully, you can see the chains holding their souls kept. That was the chains you saw. Unfortunately, these mirages cannot be imprisoned no matter how hard you try. Defeating a mirage's master will break its chains, allowing you to imprison it. The problem, of course, is finding the master. Oh, fire whoever wrote that little hook in. <laughs> on, Ixnay, on the fourth wall stuff. Giants. <laughs> oh, whoops. Oh. Are they Bahamutian soldiers? But they drove the mirages off for us. It's just like the prophecy. Way to go, Lon. But which one? Well, we know how it ends. Please, may I speak with you? Sure. Huh? Oh, sure. She noticed that he was able to change between giant and lilikin. Hello, Tama. What? <laughs> the two of you. You've traveled here from another world. Oh, yes. Well, I wouldn't. I mean. Actually, I think you're pretty much spot on. And we're mirage keepers too. Well, well, don't tell her. <laughs> Why not? Face it, we're too awesome to try and hide it. I'm like exuding all over. Oh Mom, god! You don't even know what exude means. There is someone who would like to have a word with you. Could you possibly stop by Castle Cornelia? Sure. Bye, bye, friend. So let's find this Casa Cornelia's place. Wait, wait, I want to explore some more. It's gotta be higher up. Oh, can I get this chest? I obtained occult fan issue one. That woman must be important if she's inviting us to the castle. That? Can we talk to these people? Let's if talk to this fish head. With other powerful countries, those Federation goons probably wouldn't attack us anymore. Okay. Come to think of it, our neighbors in Saronia also stand against the Federation. And again, if we join forces with another country, we'd just become even more obvious targets. It makes it tough for the princess to reach out. I wonder if there aren't any powerful countries or organizations out there that we could ask for help. Okay. That woman must be important if she's inviting us to the castle. Alright, can we talk to this running around kid? <laughs> Cute. That woman How about must this be girl? Important okay, if she's we get it, Rain. There, okay. Can we talk to this girl? Now, now. Quit racing about before you trip and break your neck. She's talking to her son there, maybe. Okay, what about um her? <laughs> I knew it! So giants really can make themselves big or small whenever they want. Well if I became a giant, could I make myself big or small too? I mean I think that might just be us. <laughs> okay, nothing over here. Let's go let's go this way. There's a person right here. I want to talk You'd to them. You have to marvel at the princess's stubbornness. After all, joining the Federation would guarantee her kingdom's safety and prosperity. Sure. Of course, you won't catch me going along with the Federation either. That's the whole reason I left my hometown to come here. Okay. Uh, here's a white mage. Many people who stand opposed to the Federation have abandoned their hometowns and fled here to Cornelia. Do you think that could be the reason that the Bahamutian army has become so much more aggressive lately? Maybe. Okay, what about you? <sighs> you know what I can't wrap my head around? There are actually people out there who've agreed to go along with those Federation tyrants. I don't know why anyone even trusts what they have to say. Okay. Uh, anything up here? No. No chests or nothing. So we'll go down here, talk to these guys. Kawa! Okay. What about the guy next to you? Castle Cornelia is up near the top 
of the town. Yes, I know that. Oh, right. We should stop by. Oh, uh, okay. They're not letting me go. <laughs> All right, fine. They're not letting me go talk any further, so we talked to everyone running around here. We got that chest on top of the roof there, so we got to be on the lookout for some more chests like that. I must talk to this fish person. Hello, well, Cactuar. I live and breathe. I've been around for quite a long time, but I've never in my life seen a giant who wasn't part of the Bahamutian army. Okay. Cactuar? Right. Tickets, please. No, I don't want to go. We can't. We got to go to the castle. All right. What's up, Hello. guys? Nice armor. Leave them alone, <laughs> please. <laughs> Sup, guys? <laughs> oh, is she the princess? Thank you for coming. Welcome to the kingdom of Cornelia. I am Princess Sarah. Princess Sarah. Wait, you're like a princess? We had no idea. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry Lon acted like such a <laughs> royal idiot. I'm not royal. Oh, and I'm his older sister, Rain. It's an honor. Please forgive the ruse. At first, I suspected that you might be agents sent here by Bahamut. I was wrong. You stood up bravely against their mirages and kept our town safe. All of Cornelia thanks you. Oh, I wouldn't say we were that brave. Really. <sighs> Stop, you're so modest. <laughs> Still, the fact of the matter is, we didn't do anything all that outstanding. Yeah, we're more the in-standing types. Huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that in-standing <laughs> isn't an actual the word. Tama, please. <laughs> oh, oh, we made her laugh. Forgive me. It's just so hard to believe that you two are the stuff of prophecies. Prophecies? Oh, that's right. I think I heard the townsfolk going on about some kind of prophecy, too. Oh, I am sorry. If you will permit me, I will explain it from the beginning. Okay, do we get a cutscene? You see, Cornelia is an unfederated state midway up Grimoire. Unfederated? Yes. Let me explain that as well. The majority of Grimoire's countries and municipalities have annexed themselves to the Bahamutian Federation under the rule of Brandalus, the Herald King. Okay. Cornelia, however, has continued to maintain its sovereignty. The Federation has made attempts to erode this stance countless times. But we have held our ground, and now Bahamut has taken to armed provocation. You mean like that mirage attack before? Yes. So where does this prophecy factor in? The Azure prophecy speaks of a divergence. When time begins its march anew, they shall return as visitors. Giants from the hills of a world not our own. Upon Grimoire, they will wreak two divergent futures. One that brings salvation, and the other ruin. An hmm. enigma to confound even the highest mind. The giants may... wreak two futures? Reek, huh? Oh, man! Tama, this prophecy's about <laughs> you! What? What are you even talking about? There's nothing the wrong with the way I smell! You think the dummy! <laughs> Well, at least I'm dumber than you! <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Highness. I'm afraid there's just no hope for them. <laughs> so, the giants from the hills, as in, Ninewood Hills? I guess it's one of those believe what you want to things? But yeah, so far, it does seem to match up. Um,. Do you mind if I ask you a slightly awkward question? If this federation is really so terrible, why have so many countries agreed to become members? Good question. Most of the mirages in Grimoire, not all, but certainly most of them, are now firmly under the federation's control. With such a powerful army behind them, citizens can go about their lives without fearing the mirages that still roam free. Dude, okay. they control that many mirages? Seriously? Y Yes! Uh, dude. <laughs> Whoa. King Brandalus's herald lieutenants, known as Seguaritas and Pelinor, 
Command all of Grimoire's mirages with the same authority as the famous Queen of the Keepers of ages past. So there was a Queen of the Keepers? Sounds like she was pretty powerful. Yes, but that was more than a century ago. So, sorry for the string of dumb questions, but if the Federation can guarantee that kind of absolute protection, wouldn't it be worthwhile to take them up on their offer? It may seem wise, but you see, membership in the Federation involves following their laws and adoption of a heinous creed. It chills me right to the marrow of my bones. That bad? Yes. I beg you, see for yourselves. Once you have done so well, you will understand. All right then. Now then, may I ask what the two of you intend okay. to do next? Well, whatever's going on out there, the only thing we can do right now is just keep rounding up more mirages, am I right? Oh? Apparently, at one time we commanded a whole legion of them. But somehow, we lost them along with our memories. So, huh. we're hoping by getting the mirages back, we might stumble on some clues about our past. That's right. So if mirages like those goblins are bugging you, we can lay down the smack. Lay down <laughs> the what? Uh, I think <laughs> what he's trying to say is we'll help you out, or at least in the best way we know how. Oh, wonderful. You have my thanks. Mine and all Cornelia's. Still, if we're going to be any help, don't you think we need to beef up our arsenal first? Because we can't put up much of a fight without some strong mirages. Good point. Princess, do you know of any nearby places where strong mirages live? Certainly. If you travel to the northeast of Cornelia, you'll find the Nether Nebula, a network hmm. of caverns inhabited by many wild mirages. Ooh, nice. Well, Not at all. Savage mirages have been sighted in the nebula. You may well end up dead. <laughs> Th that's cool. If you insist <laughs> upon going, then please take the utmost caution. Oh, he we're going to go highness. there. Otherwise, he's going to be extremely sorry. Wait a minute. Why just me? What did I do? <laughs> uh, yes, please. I would very much like to save my progress. Yep. Cool. So we are going to go head up to um, wherever she said, the nebula something. Nimbus, nebula, <laughs> I don't know, some cloud thing. And try to get some more stronger like mirages. We'll need to wind our way down to reach the exit. Seems okay. that way. What a funny way to build a town. Oh, it's not that strange to the people of Grimoire. Hey, while we're here, why don't we ask around town and to see what we can find out? Okay, um, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here because we just had the save point. So when we come back, we'll head around town um, and we'll see where the story takes us. These episodes are going to kind of vary a little bit depending on, especially for a game where... Oh, let me just make sure. Yeah, especially for a game where you can't save where you want to save. Um, yeah, can't save. Uh, the, it, the episode lengths are going to vary. I'm going to try to get around 40 minutes, but because we just had a save there, I don't know when the next save point is going to be. Um, so guys, thank you so much for the support on this series. If you do want to see more of World of Final Fantasy, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye-bye everyone!